hello welcome back to my channel my name is elena i love beauty and makeup especially eyeshadow i also do declutters rankings reviews hauls and stuff like this on that channel so if you like that kind of content then definitely keep on watching So today's video is going to be me ranking all the eyeshadow palettes I tried in 2023. I only have 12. That doesn't seem like a lot. I was on a low buy this year and I only tried to buy the palettes that I really, really wanted. So with that being said, this ranking was super, super hard. So I want to let you know all the palettes I tried except for the first one, which you will see like the first one, which is the last one. Wasn't the best, but going from there, all the eyeshadows I tried were so, so good. So it was really, really hard. Let's just say that, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so going into number 12 spot is going to be from Ciate London. It is called the, it's called the Olive Palettes. And also I keep the little tab on it just because it did come in broken so this is what the palette looks like it is a nice palette don't get me wrong but i feel like the color story isn't really olive like there is a couple of greens but most of them are neutrals and i just there's it's really hard to make a look to be honest um that's why it's at number 12. i mean the quality is not that bad it's really good to be honest but it's just the color story is it's just hard to make a look with so that is why it is definitely coming in number 12 don't get me wrong i really like the palette but it just i have other palettes that i like better so yeah so at number 11 is going to be the T natasha denona alloy palette and this is what the palette looks like super super good palette um it's a really good neutral palette to be honest the quality is super good i did think get this in boxy charm but of course i spent my money on boxy charm so that's why i'm saying that oh yes all these palettes i bought myself so yes such a good palette now this is only coming at 11 because it's only a five um shade color story that's why it's a smaller palette nothing wrong with the palette at all it is such a good palette but the other palettes I just like a little bit more. If you do like a neutral palette, I definitely would recommend this palette. I think you can buy, buy it on the BoxyCharm website, but I don't think it's on the Natasha Denona website. So I just want to let you know. But this was such a good palette. The mattes were so good. The shimmers were super nice. I just love this palette. But like I said, it's just a smaller palette, so that's why it's coming at number 11. And number 10 is going to be the ColourPop Mobbin Up palette. And this is what the palette looks like. Such amazing palette. Wonderful quality. I did get it from Target. Now, the only reason why it's a number 10 is just because it's more of a monochromatic color story. But there's nothing wrong with the quality. Like I said, the quality is amazing. Just the color story. And there's more palettes that I like. Better color stories than this one. But um, I just really like this palette. I really thought it was really, really good. To be honest, ColourPop did such a good job with this palette. It's only a Target, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you get it on the ColourPop website. But this palette, just super, super good. I had no problems with it. The shimmers were super nice. The mattes were super nice. So, yes. And number nine is going to be the ColourPop Fresh Greens palette. This is what the palette looks like. If you know me, I love my greens. And this was such a good palette. It's only coming at nine because it is, like I said, a monochromatic color story and the other palettes I have I just like a little better but this was super good I also got this from Target so yeah I really love this palette um I have no complaints to be honest with this palette like I said all the palettes this was a super hard ranking because all the palettes I love so much so yes and number nine is going to be Italian spritz palette from a Too Faced and this is what the palette looks like I really do love this palette. Too Faced did such a good job with this palette. I love the color story. The quality is super good. But I do have something to say. So um, I got this about in April, I would say. Right when it came out, I got the palette. It performed perfectly fine. And I just used it maybe three weeks ago. 
and I feel like the shimmers got a little hard panned. I know from another YouTuber that she had some hard panned after she bought the palette. And I don't know, like the palette still performs good, but I just felt like some of the shimmers I used were really hard panned. And that was just kind of disappointing because this palette was such a good palette. I mean, it is still a really good palette and it ranks a little higher than the other palettes I just showed you. But there was hard pan in it and I was just very disappointed in that. But otherwise, everything else is super good. I'm just so happy Too Faced did a different color story because I feel like Too Faced had just been doing really neutral color stories and just the same thing. And I'm just glad they did something different. And I love the tin packagings that they do also. But this palette is just ranking a little lower because I did get some hard pan and I was really disappointed by that. But otherwise, the color story, the palette is perfectly fine. And number seven is going to be Sage the Day from ColourPop. And this is what the palette looks like. Super, super good palette. I love this palette. It's only coming a little, it's only, it's only ranking a little lower just because the other palettes I like a little better. But this palette was such a good palette. I enjoyed the quality of it. I love this color right here. It's called Nature Babe. And it is such, here, let me see if you can probably see it better. But this was such a good palette. I loved it so much. The quality was super good. Like I said, I love my greens, but there's some neutrals also in here. So yeah. And number six is the Odin's Eye collab with Makeup Just for Fun. It's the Floral Story palette. And if you're wondering what I have in my eyes today, it is this palette. This is super, super good. I have no complaints. It's just ranking a little lower just because I just did get it. And I haven't used it quite, I haven't used it quite a bit. I haven't used it a lot just to know my final reviews on it. But so far, I really do love the palette. The palette is super good. She did such a good job. I only got this palette out of the three, the other two. There was like the one from Laura Mae Beauty and Batty Bean. I was, like I said, I'm just on a low buy. So I kind of had to pick and choose what color story I liked. And I like this color story a lot better than the other ones. Not saying the other ones are really bad. But like I said, I'm on low buy, so I had to be careful what I chose. And I really, really love this palette. This palette is super good. The look I came with today, I love. I'm obsessed with, not gonna lie. The quality is super good. Although I will tell you, this shade, Best Buds right here, is a little flaky. It was very soft when I picked it up, so I did get quite a bit of fallout. But otherwise, super, super good, and I love this palette. And number five, we have the Nomad Ghost Town USA palette. And look at the holographic. It is super, super good. It is such a beautiful packaging. And then when we open it up, it looks like this. I love this palette. It was such a good palette. I do have one other Nomad palette. It's the Fred de Prance palette. But this one definitely beats that palette. Not saying the other palette's bad. But the color story, this one is super, super good. I do have a video on this palette, so if you want to go check that out, you can. I just love this palette. Now, I will tell you, the shimmers are a little soft press, so just be careful when you pick them up. You definitely probably want to spray your brush because you will get quite a bit of fallout, but I just love this palette. The quad is super good. The mats were super nice. The color story is just amazing. I just have no complaints about this palette. Now, it's only ranking a little lower just because the other palettes I like a little bit more. But there is nothing wrong with this palette. And I would definitely recommend it if you like cooler tones, but you like color. I definitely recommend this palette. At number four, we have the Trick or Treat palette from Odin's Eye in collaboration with Angelica Nikovis. And this is what the palette looks like. This is a super good palette. I love Angie. She inspired me to actually do my own YouTube channel and to play with color. I just love this palette. The quality is super, super good. It's only ranking a little bit lower just because of the color story. I feel like it's a little dark in my likings, but it's such a good palette. When you combine the two, which I will show you the other one, you can make amazing looks. I just love this palette. I love Odin's Eye. I think I tried Odin's Eye last year and I just, I became in love with them. Like majority of my palettes I have in my collection is Odin's Eye or ColourPop. And I just love this palette. Angie did such a good job with this palette. So yeah. And number three is the other palette from that collaboration, which is the Little Ghost palette. 
and this is the color story to it i love this palette now this palette's a little lighter and i can work with it a little better than the other palette that's why it's ranking a little higher than that palette but both palettes are super good the quality is super nice now i will say that purple right there that purple matte i did get some staining after i wore the look about five to six hours and when I took it off, it did stain a little bit. But the weird thing is, it like stained into a pink color. It didn't stain into a purple color, which I thought was really weird. But, oh well. And I just want to let you know for that. But this palette, super, super nice. Super good quality. The shimmers are really nice. I just love this palette. So, that's why it's ranking at number three. At number two, we have the Stone and Rock palette from Odin's Eye. At number two is the Stone and Rock palette from Odin's Eye. And this is what the palette looks like. Such an amazing palette. I love this palette so much. The quality is super good. I love the mattes. I love the shimmers. I made such a beautiful look. I also have an Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and link that down below because I do have my makeup looks that I do on that Instagram. So yes, I just love this palette. Now, the first palette, like the number one spot, you'll pro you probably already guessed it, but this one is just second, just because the first palette I liked a little bit more. But this palette, super, super good. I'm in love with Odin's Eye, and I cannot wait for what they do next year. So, yes. And if you haven't guessed already, the number one palette that I tried this year was from Natasha Denona, the Yucca palette. And this is what the palette looks like. I love this palette. Of course, it's number one. But this palette just did not disappoint. Natasha Denona does such a good job with her formulas. Now, I will say some of the palettes she came out with this year wasn't my cup of tea for Color Story. But this one, when I saw it, I had to get it. I was like, yep, I gotta get it. And it did not disappoint. I used this like five times already, and I've had it for like two weeks maybe. And I love this palette. The quality is super good. I just, the color story is so nice. I do have the retro palette from Natasha Denona, and I, that was my, like, my favorite palette in my collection, but I'm pretty sure this one beat that. So, yes. I don't know. Just this palette, super good. I have no complaints at all. I think Natasha Denona did such a good job, and I cannot wait what she comes out with next year. So, that is it for the video. I might have been a shorter video, just because, like I said, I didn't have a lot of palettes, because I was on a low buy. But if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And I just want to thank everybody for the support I've had this year on my YouTube channel. My goal is to hit 200 subscribers by the end of the year. And we are almost there. I just want to thank everybody. And I will be back with a lot more videos. Till then, stay beautiful, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye.